In this video, we're going to go over the rest of the menu options available to you on the lights <clears throat> and on the switch. You'll recall from our last video that the light in the middle, this one, is set listening on a different network channel than these two. These outer ones listening on channel patio, this listening on channel A. Just so you really say, when this is, does an update, you'll know why. Anyway, onto the menus. I'll click this light, and I have a number of options here. Status displays hover text about the status of the light, whether it's on, network is on, what channel is listening to, the color, and light settings for glow, radius, range, brightness, all that is displayed briefly in the hover text. Another option you have here is reset. This resets all the lights to the default color of white, range of 10, fall off of 75, all that stuff. So it resets the lights to their default values. I'll change it back to blue. Options, light, color, preset, and then blue. All right. Another option you have available to you is under the options menu. There is access, prim, status messages, and network. We've already seen network and light. Let's touch on the rest of these. First, prim. This menu is designed to let you decide what to turn on or off. If I ch say light only here, from now on, the prim will not change color, only the color of the light. You'll see that by turning the light off. The light turns off, but the prim is still glowing and still all that because we're not we told not to change that anymore. I'll turn that back on. You'll also notice that, that only affects this one prim. I did want to make that a network option because I thought you might want to have an object on your network that doesn't change the appearance of the prim and save the trouble of taking it off the network, making the change and putting it back on. It only affects the local light. That is the only function I'm aware of. It does not transmit over the network. Also under options there is access. You can set access for everyone, group, or owner only. And only the owner can change these options. I'll set it to group. And you'll see my lights are now set to group. Another option on that menu is status message. You may have noticed all the hover text. Whenever you change something, I turn it off. And now, lights turn on or off. They do not broadcast that fact in hover text. Again, remember this is set to only change the light, so this light did not look like it turned off. I'll change that. Prim light and prim. And now it reflects that the light is off. And finally, there is also under prim, actually under light rather, you can change the range, the fall off, the glow, the brightness, all within these four menus. Brightness is actually a two-page menu. You go from 0.1 meters to one. Uh, do I feel? I'm sorry. Brightness is a one page from 0.1 to 1.0, dimmest to brightest. I think I took too long to make that choice. Options, light, brightness, 0.01, and if I turn these on now. Light will not be very bright at all. I can notice that there's no status messages because I've since turned those off. I'm now turning them back on. Options, status messages on. And now they begin flashing their status again. Under light options, you can also change things which should be very apparent. For example, the radius of the light or the range. And here, this is the two-page menu. I can go 1 through 10 meters here, or 11 through 20 meters here. Changing the fall-off. This is anywhere from 1 to 0.1 here, and 1.1 to 2.0 here. Covering the full range of values you can add manually to the from the Linden menu. Glow. Some people don't like glow. 
turn it off. Now, maximum glow is set to zero. Turn the light on, and the light comes on. The prim does not begin glowing because you've just heard you disabled glow. Something to consider with that as well. I'll turn the glow back on and show you something. Options, light, glow, point two. Brightness back to 10. Options, light, brightness, full bright. Now, if I change the brightness to, say, half, the glow will be reduced also. That is done to give it a more realistic look. I'll change brightness to 0.5. And you see they're glowing a bit less now, too. The reason it should be evident is because glow takes into effect all ambient light. So this middle light still at full brightness would cause the glow here to also be at full intensity if I didn't reduce the factor by 50% when the light brightness itself was set to 50%. And I believe the last thing I'm going to show you is under light and under range, I'm sorry, under glow, bear in mind that zero, zero turns it off completely. And it will not change at all regardless of the brightness of the light. And that covers everything on the light menu. A quick look at the switch menu reveals there's not much really to tell here. I could change all on, all off, all timed, or on off timed for the, for the current channel. Much that you can do directly from the lights themselves. Network, you've seen what that does. I can change my network but more importantly is this option here, access. You can have the switch access set differently than the lights. For example, the lights can be set to respond to the owner's touch only with the group allowed to actually turn the lights on and off from the switch. And that covers it. Thank you for watching these videos and I hope you enjoy the product. You can contact me in world if you have any questions or drop me a note card and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.